fate is written in the heavens. You cannot escape your destiny. Your guiding planet rules your life. It is our privilege to present a celebrated scientist who will explain astrology in its true light. Professor S. Zoharaburikis. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. people. This is the astromological sun. Well, the visitors. Four days has got September, April, June, and Kentucky. All the rest I'm don't be sure except Chicago used to get the World's Fair. Ah, so this is Ares. Saggy trousers, Bourbon's greatest master boost. Taurus, that's the bull that won't take a move for an answer. Round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody cares. Ah, how do you like that? There sits King Taurus. The moon-kissed bull. When the moon shines, he is public boss number one. Bull meets crab. Crab meets good too on the bull plate launch. 35 cents. They're lisos. Oh, no more crab meat. Holy bull! <laughs> Taros is very unhappy. Saggy trousers gonna horse around a little bit. had been in conjunction. Who's Taurus? Well, that's the planet that rules my destiny. You see, I'm studying astrology. Well, you've seen enough stars tonight. That's why I've been fighting, so I can pick up enough extra money to finish my course. You mean you've been taking all these beatings to study stars? Yeah, and it's been worth it. Tonight's money will make me a DA. District attorney? No, doctor of astrology. You're screwy. Oh, boy. Well, I've got a little bad news for you. You mean the Constellation is against me? No, just the Commission. They've held up your purse. What? What? They ruled no contest. Sorry, boys. No dough. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This, they can't do that to me. I'll tell them. It'll be quite a surprise. Hey. Well, boys, I guess the joke is on us. What are you going to do now, Taurus? Oh, I don't know. Can't you think of something? No. Maybe he can. Hey, wait a minute. Hello, Mr. Vitterby. Thanks, Mr. Hoff and Pepper, for opening up for me. I was expecting you. I got the iron steak ready. Yeah, well, trim the edges. The last one was kind of grisly. 
Six five big steaks. I can, I can cut them now without measuring them. Well, I'll be a regular customer of yours as long as my eye holds out. You know, I got some but boil them and some but buy them. But you are the only one but wear them. Thanks. Someday my planet will be in ascendancy. Then I'll wear tenderloin. Good night. Auf Wiedersehen. and the Bascoms don't like dogs. I'm going to have trouble enough explaining this eye. Look, Buster, or Towser, or Queenie, Zodi, Zodiac. Look, here. Here. Cats, now go get them, go get them. I call the whole thing off. That'll do, Marthy. Go on counting. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Stop that counting aloud. I've told you a hundred times. Yes, ma'am. Hundred one, hundred two, hundred three. Uh-huh. Now you've done it all over again. Eddie, where are you? Where is everybody? Coming, Henry. I hope you train Dustin not to scream for you. Would one of you mind telling me where you've hidden my epilogue? Henry Bascom, you're not going out in that ridiculous get-up. It's hard enough to live down Bascom's plumbing. I've been a member of the Pie-Eyed Pipers for 30 years, and I'm not giving it up just because you got snooty ideas. They're not snooty. They're smart. Oh, you're smart, huh? Yes. Well, if you're so darn smart, find my epilogue. I'm going in here. Will you please scram? Scram! Hundred and six. Hundred and seven. Where are you going to hold this wedding? In the stadium? In the Bideway Chapel. Oh, isn't it wonderful, Marcy? Did you get a minute? It's a miracle. There's the doorbell, Marcy. I hear it. Well, answer it. Get up, Marcy. It's Dustin. Oh, so that's what you want. Why didn't you say so? Here. Hello, Marcy. When you come in a house, you certainly don't mess with it. Well, I, I couldn't help it. I picked up a dog. Where'd you pick up the black eye? Oh, Taurus is against me. No, he's certainly connected. Do you think they'll notice it? Not if you hold your hat over it. What's that? That's Zodiac. He's scratching to come in. Well, whatever he does, I'll be blamed for it. Go home. Zodiac. Go home. Well, folks, here I am. It's about time. Dustin, darling. <laughs> Why, what happened to your eyes? Oh, just forgetfulness. Forgetfulness? I forgot to do a werewolf. That's only Zodiac, Mrs. Bascom. I'll get him. Oh, oh mother. Oh, 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 go away from me. Go away from me. Go away from me. Oh, oh, uh, Zodiac, oh, here. Oh, here. Oh, take him away. Here's Zodiac. Oh, 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 you're nasty thing. Somebody help. Take him away. Take him away. Is that Zodiac? Oh, Dustin. Oh, that's all. Oh, here's Zodiac. Oh, 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 he oh, just wants to play. What's going on in here? Henry, down there, I'm being attacked! Please do something. Do something, Justin. Oh, what please. is this? I think it's a sort of a mixed breed. I don't care if it's vegetable or mineral. How did he get in here? He's through it, the window. That's the way he's going out. Well, oh, wait, Mr. Bascom. Wait, Mr. Bascom, that's only Zodiac. He took a fancy to me. Well, he can take his fancy somewhere else. Now, if you're through playing, maybe I can get started. Where are you going? 
Yachting? Yachting. Dustin, darling. Yes. Look at our invitations. Aren't they wonderful? Oh, dear. This is terrible. What do you mean? It says June 1st. Of course, that's the date we agreed on. Yes, I know, but, but I didn't know then what I know now. What is he talking about? You see, I'm a bull. A what? I'm a bull and you're a scorpion. Dustin! And your, your mother's a crab and your father is a goat. <laughs> That's tickin' him. Harry Baskin, are you going to let him insult the family? Let him go on. Let him go on. But that's not an insult. It's astrology. Look, I'll explain it to you. Oh, Mama, picture. He smashed it. There is some good in astrology. The planets are against day. I. I should have stayed in bed. Don't worry, you're in right for it. Justin, what is all this foolishness? Well, that's Taurus, and that's Scorpio. You can't join them in June. Oh, rubbish. It's not rubbish, science. Now, in July, it's different. I won't be married in July. It's unfashionable and out of the question. But I'm thinking of our children. If we marry in June, our first child will be a Pisces. A what? Fish. Any child of yours would have that tendency. Are you going to marry my daughter or aren't you? Oh, sure, I'll, I'll marry Diane in July. Then there won't be any wedding. Are you going to let this silly astrology interfere with Diane's happiness? It's not silly. It's my life's work. What about your job at the bank? Well, I... Oh, well, I forgot to tell you. I, I lost that yesterday. What? what? Oh, you're oh, John. Well, so when I'm Dr. Willoughby, the famous astrologer... You'll all be sorry. Henry, throw him out before I faint. Leave this house before I lose my temper and tear you limb from limb. Oh, take him off. He's ruining me. Here. Take him off. Take... Don't blame Zodiac, Mr. Bascom. I guess he's an Aquarius. <laughs> hey, wait. Mr. Bascom, wait a minute. You... Wait, Mr. Bascom, he likes you. Wait. I guess it's just you and me and the moon against the world. Everything is yours, Mr. Regan. This way, please. Come on, girl. Sit down. 
down, Judge. This is your party. It's nice of you to do this, Regan. Why, well, it's a pleasure and a privilege. Is everything ready? Champagne, she's a nice. I bring a big ship. Well, maybe a party will change my luck. They've been running against you? Terrible. His horse breaks a leg, his fighter breaks a mitt, then Lazy Lou gets pleased. <laughs> See, Lou? Yes, in the dog race tonight. I had a grand on her, all set to collect. <laughs> then she gets pleased and strains the ligament, scratching him. No! <laughs> Oh, laugh. Everything I touch is jinxed. I can't break it. Compliments of the house, Judge. Thank you, Papalus. My friend, thank you. There's the one. Immediate. Don't stand there. Do something. Oh! There must be something wrong with your planet. Put the white down there. Take a wish, Judge, and blow them all out. <laughs> well, here goes. Pardon me. Is it, is it your birthday? It is, my boy. It's too bad. What are you talking about? What's that? Well, Mars being in conjunction with Saturn tonight, the moon is adverse. Should I clunk him? Sit down. What the devil are you talking about? Well, you should have stayed in bed tonight. I should. Are you a psychologist? No, sir. I'm an astrologist. Don't crack wide the boss. I'm not cracking. I'm just warning the judge. Warning me of what? Well, something is liable to happen to you tonight. Oh, stop it now. I don't believe in that rot. <laughs> That's just what I was afraid of. You can't fool around with the planet. Get some water, quick. Yes, sir. I'll try it, but... But I don't think it'll grow. What are you doing? Go away from me. Yes, sir. What happened? You got conked with potted geranium. The boy said it would happen. He caused it. He wished it on me. No, sir. I don't cause things. I merely forecast. Will you go away from me? Yes, sir. Wait a minute, son. Maybe you can forecast who's going to win the third race tonight. Well, who's, who's running? Five dogs. Well, I'd have to know their birthdays. Lazy Lou was born on April Fool's Day. <laughs> I lost a hundred betting on the litter. Aries passes the nader. Moon squares Mars. Eight, four, two, and even. What's he doing, making books? Shut up. Lazy Lou vibrates to seven and eleven. Who don't? You mean she can win? Her planets are favorable. How about her fleas? Well, when were they born? You're not paying any attention to that crackpot. A hunch is a hunch. Find out if Lou's running. Put a hundred on her nose. Okay, I'll take a pin at it myself. And brother, you better be right. I'd stake my life on it. It's just what you're doing. Why are you stand around here? Why don't you join the party? Well, all right, if you say so, Mr. Acropolis. Clear the tables. Wait a minute, Acropolis. You got a little radio you could put on the table? Sure. Okay, make it snappy. Immediately. Hey, Zodiac. <laughs> I got your dinner for you. Yeah, there you are. Sorry, sirloin steak is the best I could get. Ah, wait a minute. Whoa, where's your manners? I'll have to take the coat back. The gentleman may be leaving. All set for the third at Westmoreland. The dogs are at the barrier. Lazy Lou's pretty well taped up, but she's running. You get that door down? On the beak at 20 to 1. The rabbit's circling the track. It passes the barrier. They're off. Look at those babies go. Alice Bean, Knockwest second, the others bunch. Where's Lazy Lou? They're stretching out of the turn. Lazy Lou takes a sudden spurt in front. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Something's happened. Lazy Lou suddenly stopped running and sat down to scratch. Well, you're just to learn. The other dogs are piled up on top of her in a jumble. We can't see what's happening. Wait till I get my mitts on. Hold on, hold on, everybody. Lazy Lou's up and running alone. Now the others are scratching. Stop and running again. Lazy Lou well out in front. I don't see how they can catch her now. 
Come on, come on, come on, Betty. Come on, Lou. There is a stretch. Alice B. making a grand try, but it's no use. No use. Lazy Lou crosses the wire alone. And sits down to scratch. Find that bus boy. I'm going to wear him around my neck like a charm. Okay, boss. Hey, you. Stop. Stop. Hey, you.
that's the common feedback. Oh, you go ahead. I'll have my lunch later. Why won't you go with me? I never eat with the boss. It's bad for the digestion. I haven't enough trouble. You have to turn me down. Your troubles are over, my friend. I am here. Is that on the level? You see before Professor the Great. Sees all, knows all. You mean you're a fortune teller? I live in the planets. I converse with the satellites. I don't care about your home life. It's that alfalfa that sold you to me. You mean, you mean I'm engaged? Brother, you're the answer to a Barker's prayer. Meet my assistant, Miss Jerry Grant. How do you do? Delighted. What's your racket, Professor? Cards or palms? I prophesy by horoscope from the Zodiac. Well, every man to his own line. Now, what do you pay? You collect five cents out of every third quarter that comes in. Every third quarter? You're not robbing yourself, are you? Yes, but generosity is my crowning fault. Yes, but I'm a real astrologer with degrees. I'm, I'm a D.A. Don't ever mention D.A. around here. Now, you step this way, Professor. I'll find a road for you. Just a minute. So it's you again, huh? Ouch. Trying to slip a fast one over on Larry Burke. Well, you wanted the whiskers and I delivered them. Outside. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Burke. Larry. Outside. Let him stay. What for? Anyone who can fool you deserves a chance. There's something in what you say. And in two weeks, we'll have the best paying concession on the pier. The moon is passing Saturn. Taurus is in the ascendancy. Swami, put it there. I think the boy's got something. <laughs> Ouch! Ouch! Then your lucky day, dates and numbers, school and paper should marry. Don't crowd folks, you'll all have a chance to visit the Swami. Just now he's taking a short rest to decompose himself. In the meantime, my friends. Oh, my goodness. What's the matter? I told Mrs. Wentz she was going to have triplets in November. It's only going to be twins. You'll probably get a bonus from Mr. Wentz. Yes, but I hate to make a sap out of Scorpio. You don't mind Larry making a sap out of you. Hmm? He's cleaning up all these horoscopes and you're not getting anything. Oh, you, you think I should ask for more money? Of course you should. I'll do it when the moon enters Sagittarius. You'll do it when Larry enters the room. Yes, but, but suppose he should fire us. Even Larry isn't in Santa Claus. Hey, they're going to smell tonight. The umpteens are fine. Give me half a dozen scorpions and a handful of Libras. Here you are. Thanks, baby. How about you and me slipping out tonight while the professor's waking? I wouldn't advise it. Sagittarius indicates violence. What kind of violence? For instance, a punch in the nose. Now listen, you keep that kind of stargazing tripe for the customers. What do you say, baby? Oh, I wouldn't dare go against the planet. Every time I try to make a date, one of your planets gets a stomachache. I'm getting sick of it. So are the planets. If we weren't doing such a good business, I'd can you. Oh, yes, and another thing. We're not satisfied. What do you mean, you're not satisfied? From now on, we get 50% of everything. What? Don't thank us. Generosity is our crowning fault. And I take care of the books and the cash. Wait a minute. You two can't run this joint. All right. Then we'll open up a planetarium of our own. Hold on. Now, let, let, let's argue this. It's there's nothing to argue. 50% or we quit. And you can bark yet, please. Okay, you win. But remember, no good luck ever came to Chisler's. What's that? Did I advise anyone to shoot themselves? Lift them up. You two guys get away by the window. Stay where you are, sister. All right, Marty, drop the gun and we'll let you have it. Go ahead, you'll have to shoot through the girl. You might as well give up. We've got you cornered. Yeah? Well, come and get me. Don't bother, officers. I'll do it. Stay where you are. I'll let you have it. Dustin, don't. He loot. My aspects are perfect tonight. Nothing can hurt me. Okay, you ask for it. <laughs> Dustin, be careful. <laughs> Dustin. Dustin. Are you all right? What happened? You got clunked. I thought nothing could hurt you tonight. Well, I... Something must have gone wrong. How's your head feel now? Swell, when you're holding it. Why did you do a crazy thing like that? Well, you were in danger and 
the moon was right. You were terribly brave. Oh, shucks. Now I wasn't. I hate to take your room, though. I wouldn't let you stay in that shack. Yes, but where are you going to sleep? The landlady gave me a room down the hall. That's fine. We'll have breakfast together. <laughs> Coffee and donuts. Don't you mention donuts to me. Now put out your light and go to sleep. Okay. Good night. Good night. And Dustin. Yeah. Here's something you dream about. I'm just barking for him. All right, Fido. Where is he? Well, he had a little accident last night. He's probably in a trance. Maybe if we put you in one, you could get in touch with him. All right, boys. All right. Take it easy. Get a pet. What is it? That's either the Swami or a bundle of wash. Good morning, Swami. And how are the stars today? <laughs> They're smiling at me. Yeah? Well, laugh this one off. Don't give it a thought. You're only pinched. Pinched? What for? Telling fortunes without a license. Fortunes? I wasn't telling fortunes. I read horoscopes. Yeah, well, you can read the judge. If you get more than six months to frame up, I complain. Well, I know you had to have a license. But you did. Why didn't you tell him? Who am I to tell the master? Well, if you boys don't me anymore, good day. Hold it, wise guy. The joint's clenched and you go with it. Well, what do you want me for? About 30 days at a rough guess. What about her? Well, uh, she don't belong here, officer. She's, she's just a friend of mine. If you arrest him, you'll have to arrest me, too. I'm his assistant. Oh, don't believe her, officer. She's of no assistance at all. Look, you can make up your mind at headquarters. Don't worry, folks. I'll take this up with Senator Fush. Why be a pipe? Pick it up with the vice president. He isn't doing anything just now. Come on. Let's go. Listen, Your Honor. This is a case of office to the tide. Stand over there and don't bother me. As a citizen, glorious country, I demand that you sit down. You step up here. Don't worry. I'll get you out of it. Your Honor, she had nothing to do with it. We'll get to her later. Where have I seen you before? Well, I... I was at the Army and Navy game. Well, that simplifies it a lot. What happened to your head? Oh, Mars was in Taurus last night. I should have stayed in bed. What's that? I... I should have stayed in bed. That's it. It's a busboy from the Seaside Inn. Yes, sir. We, we met the night you got potted. Yeah, you... <coughs> we'll continue this case in 15 minutes. Take them to my chambers. Right this way. You stay here. Gosh, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be in this mess. Well, I don't mind, as long as we're together. You mean... You mean you're not sore? Of course not, silly. Gee, you're swell. You thought of swell yourself. Oh, God. Jerry, I want to ask you something. Yes, Dustin? If, if I do have to go to jail... Yes? Will you... Yes? That, will you keep flea powder on Zodiac so he don't scratch? There he is. That's the boy. You're right. There couldn't be two faces like that. Son, I've been looking all over for you. What for? He's my lucky piece. Where I go, he goes. You mean we're both going to jail? No, no, we've overlooked the offense this time. Case dismissed. That's all, brother. I told you I'd get you this, son. Who is he? Boy, oh, that's Mr. Burke. He barks. Yeah? One more yelp and he'll get six months. Just a minute. I'm his manager. You were. From now on, we're going to be like two goldfish in a bowl. Yes, well, you'll have to add another goldfish. I won't go any place without Jerry. I see. I think we can take care of the little lady. Well, what about me? I've got a fortune invested in the Swami. You got a contract? It's a gentleman's agreement. It's illegal. There's only one gentleman. Okay, I'll be in to <laughs> shut you up. Come on, before anybody else horns in. Good morning, Miss Potts. Good morning, Mr. Willoughby. Oh, Mr. Willoughby. Yes? My boyfriend gave me the air last night. What should I do? 
Share it with everybody. It's entirely free. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Come on, Zodiac. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning, Dudley. It's after 10. Where have you been? I stopped at the hospital to read Mrs. Schultz's horoscope. What good will that do her? She broke one leg. No sense in her breaking the other. Mr. Regan wants you. He'll have to wait. Some fresh flowers. Thanks. Still lovely. Yeah. So are... I mean, don't mention it. <laughs> it's nothing at all. Gosh. <laughs> horoscopes? What race? The fifth at Pimlico. Fifth at Pimlico. Marshmallow first, Brown Derby second. There's a little doubt as to Sweet Marie's birthday. Where am I golf score be, Sandy? Somewhere in the gay 90s. What should his mother-in-law do about her lumbago? Rub it. That'll be all for today, boys. Oh, no. No, no. You've got to go to Mrs. Carstairs' charity bazaar tonight. I've already attended six bazaars, two dinners, and a clam bake. Oh, no, this is different. Mrs. Carstairs is sponsoring the Newsboys Fight Benefit, Friday night. Newsboys shouldn't fight on Friday. Not Newsboys. This is a big card. I'm bringing a fighter all the way from Salvador to meet the champion. But Jerry and I were going to see Mary of Scotland tonight. Do your visit in some other time. This is important. And nothing here, and nothing here. Now watch carefully because the hand is quicker than the eye. Ace of spades, look. Ace of spades, the card called for, and I thank you for your kind attention. And now, folks, who's next with the Swami? Remember, he sees all, knows all, and tells all. Step up, folks, step up. It's only five yen a throw, and it all goes to the cause of sweet charity. Thank you, madam. Place your offering inside of this little gold box, which is securely locked and cramping my style. Jerry. When do they eat? Announce it. Will you have supper with me? I'm counting on it. Oh, isn't it beautiful, Mother? Oh, it's wonderful. Stop playing with your feet, Henry, and let's enjoy ourselves. Oh, how can I enjoy myself when my shoes hurt? It cost us sixty dollars to get in here, and you're going to enjoy it if you have to wear horseshoes. <sighs> Come on, Mother. Let's wander around. I'm way over the bar where I can sit down. Fix your tie, Henry. Be careful what you say to people. Oh, don't worry about me. I've been out before. Yes, and I've been with you. That's why I'm worried. Thanks. Tickets for the fight or get me good play? When does this Salvador Slayer show up? Oh, Doc, two days before the fight. Well, when does he train? Been trained in Salvador for three months. Has he got a chance? We'll know that when Dustin casts his horoscope. Tickets for the fight? Uh, good evening, gentlemen. My name is Bascom. That rounds out a well-turned evening. Oh, you've probably heard of my plumbing. We'll get a monkey wrench someday and go into it. <laughs> what do you say to a bottle of wine? I never bandy words with it. Hey, boy, a bottle of wine. Have it cold. Yes, sir. I got to see Carstairs. Oh. Pay for the drinks and bring me the change. Right. Shall I pour it, sir? What did you expect it to do? Sweat itself out? Very good, sir. Take the other drinks out of that. Haven't you anything smaller? We're a little pressed for change. Wait a minute. I can break it for you. Thank Here you. Here you are. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks very kindly. That, that's mighty nice of you. And uh, here's your 50. Hang on to it tightly. Money's very slippery these days. <laughs> now, don't go away. I'll be right back. All right. Hurry up before the bubbles die. That'll be $20 for the wine, sir. Yes. Take it out of here. Supper is served. Mercury is favorable to the moon in July. Mother, do you see who that is? Why, it's the Swami, isn't it? It's Dustin Willoughby. What? Come on. That concludes the reading, madam. Oh, Jerry. Yes? Tell Larry to call a recess. At once, Swami. Is something wrong? Hmm, 
I see influences I had better duck. Dennis, Justin Willoughby. Oh, oh, hello, Diane. Hello, Mrs. Bascom. Imagine finding you here. Yeah, well, that's my own fault. I should have moved quicker. Why haven't you called me? Well, I, I thought after Mr. Bascom threw me out... That... Don't give it a thought. Now, you know how Henry plays. Yes, like a left tackle. Justin, darling, take me to supper. We've so much to talk over. Well, I, I can't. I'm sorry. I promised Jerry that I'd... We can find someone else. We'll pick up the threads just where we dropped them. Yes, but I don't want to pick up threads. I want to eat. Uh -uh, <laughs> that's, now, don't argue. Now, you two lovers go right along, and I look for Mr. Bascom. Justin, darling, I know where there's a quiet little nook. But I don't like nooks. They give me rheumatism. Oh, Justin. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful, Dustin? Why, well, I, I don't know. I, I haven't tasted it yet. To think of you being the great Swami. I'm so proud of you. Well, I had nothing to do with it. It was the planets. Like all great men, you're modest. No, Dustin. It was your own face. And now you're tasting the fruit. <laughs> I'm not tasting anything. Put your arm around me, darling. There now. Isn't it comfy? Well, it's a little awkward. <laughs> That's it, darling. Hold me tightly, my Arabian prince. I'm not Arabian. I'm Persian. It doesn't matter what you are, as long as you're mine. Oh, oh. oh Dustin, are you hurt? Huh? Oh. oh. Where am I? In my arms, where you'll always be. No, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't speak. Kiss me. Just. Jerry, I... I know what you're thinking, but... But it isn't. Please don't apologize. Larry told me where I could find you. There's people waiting for horoscopes. Who is this, Dustin? This is Jerry. She's my... Uh, that is, we're going to be... I'm Mr. Willoughby's assistant. Oh, how nice. I do hope you'll come to our wedding. Wait, Diane... You, you don't understand. I do. I hope you'll both be very happy. Wait a minute, Jerry. She doesn't matter. Let her go. But she does. Let me go. Just a minute, you Plymouth Rock. Oh, yes, you're uh, um, uh, Mr. Uh... I'm the guy that gave you the 50. Oh, yes, I remember. Pretty good trick, wasn't it? Yeah, it laid an egg. Yeah, I'm sorry, I couldn't get back. I got all tied up. And here's where you're going to get all unwrapped. <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. You, uh, you, you found the 50, of course. I found this. And you, uh, wondered what became of the 50? I wondered what became of you. Just a little whimsy on my part, my friend. Now watch carefully. Yeah. I don't do this, Lord, Lord, but... uh, There's your 50. Proving conclusively that the digit is quicker than the optic. Say, that's swell. I'd like to pull that for the pie-eyed pipers. Could you show me how? Yeah, delighted. Uh, have you got chains for a hundred? Well, that's fifty. Thank you. Well, look here, uh, there's fifty more. Thank you. Now watch this very carefully, because the more you watch, the less you see. There we are. Now don't let me fool you with... Uh, just a minute. Cough. <coughs> There you are. Don't give it away. It's a magician's secret. <laughs> oh, Fanny, come here. Well, what are you going to do? Fry it or boil it? Fanny, I got something to show you. Don't call me Fanny. Fanchon. Everyone else is eating, and you're standing there with an egg in your hand. But look. You wouldn't give a hundred dollars for that egg, would you? Is that what they're charging? No, 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 no. This is a trick. It's on the watch. I'll show you. <laughs> ah, look, the midget is quicker than the gadget. Look, I wouldn't deceive you. Watch very closely now. <laughs> Get your coat. The party's over. Wednesday. 
worry and anxiety. Thursday, worry and anxiety. Friday, a conflict with victory as the moon appeared. Hi, Swami. How's the stars treating you? Where's Jerry? How do I know? I've been down meeting the Salvador Slayer. I'm worried about her. Stop worrying up names. The stars have got you screwy enough. Where's the Slayer? Steve's bringing him up from the freight elevator so as not to scare the customers. Hung of it. You gotta see him to figure that out. Yeah, I'm on a spot, Lefty. Simpson has bought my mortgage on the fight arena. Do you think you're foreclosed? Well, he didn't buy it to hang on the wall. To get a wad of dough, quick. How about the Slayer? The odds are ten to one against him. Say, if his horoscope is okay, that's a way out. He's here, boss. You better shut one. You shouldn't see him all at once. Come in, stupid. Hello. Is that the Slayer? Yeah. They grow them things in Salvador. You sure you got the right guy? Salvador Slayer, delivered to James J. Regan. Well, I guess he's mine. Bring him in. Come on, Frankenstein. Park over here. Park? Bueno. I like to see Zoo. Okay. We drag you up someday when they're feeding the lions. Bueno. You're sure she left the hotel? Well, if she comes in, be sure and tell her to call the office. Thanks. Hello? I'm sorry to see you, Mr. Willoughby. Who is it? Name, please. Mrs. Bascom and Diane Bascom. And uh, Mr. Bascom. How about that, son? Wait a minute, wait a minute, please. Yes, sir. Hello, Justin. Justin, we have a surprise for you. I've had a couple already. Put your old papers away, darling, and get your hat. What for? We're going right down to the city hall and be married. Who, me? Who did you think she was going to marry him? <coughs> Zodiac, excuse me. Zodiac. Here, here. Quiet, quiet. Ha, <laughs> there. They're not going to hurt us. Are you going to marry my daughter? Well, you... We can't marry while... Uranus faces Jupiter. Oh, we're going to start that again. Huh? Well, as a matter of fact, we shouldn't get married at all. Yes, yes. What? Well, you see, she's Earth and I'm water. You mix the two and you get mud. What could, what could we expect our children to be? Henry Bascom, are you going to let him call your grandchildren mud pie? Oh, what are you going to do with an idiot? We'll take this into court. We'll sue. Remember, there's always the last straw. This it? <clears throat> Dustin, I've always tried to be like a father to you, but if you don't get out of that seat in the next ten seconds, I'm going to break every bone in your body! I wouldn't marry him now if he were gold plated. You do just as your father Shut said. Shut up! I will not. I'll tell you what you know what you won't do. I'm the most old master of all. I'm all of it. You talk out of it. You have nothing to say. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. What's going on in here? Well, they want me to marry their daughter, and and the planets are against it. All right, folks. That'll be all. Oh, what do you mean? They mean scram. We can't have the swami upset. Well, I must say. Okay, Peach Blossom. Say it outside. Peach Blossom? Come, Mother. We've been insulted enough. Goodbye, Diane. Forget me and marry a Sagittarius. She's gonna marry an American like her mother did. And let me tell you... I'm sick of Zodiac. I should have stayed in bed today. Listen, Dustin. You've got to make a horoscope and make it quick. Pose. we got to find out if that goat in there can fight. Well, I... I never tried to do a goat before. The Salvador Slayer. If he can win, I can pay Simpson. I've got to know. I'm kind of upset today. What are you upset about? You haven't even seen him. Well, Jerry has left me. I'm going to the Foreign Legion and forget. Get him, boy. Well, wait a minute. You're going to sit right there and remember. Now hop into them hemispheres and make it snappy. My whole future is in your hands. Come on, boys. Let him concentrate. Well, wait a minute. I can't do this unless you give me the... Why 
Why does all this have to happen to me? Good morning, Swami. Larry, what's happened to Jerry? For a fortune teller, you asked the darndest questions. She hasn't shown up. I'm worried. Worry and anxiety, conflict. With victory as the moon appears. Is this for a horse or just a human being? That's my horoscope. I've got to know about Jerry. She caught you in a half Nelson with another gal last night, didn't she? I didn't kiss Diane. She kissed me. A smack's a smack. She's taken a walk out. You're the forgotten man. She can't do it. I won't let her. Tell Reagan I'll do the Slayer's horoscope later. But haven't you any idea where she went? She has an aunt in Hartford. She might have gone there. Hartford? Gosh, why didn't you say so? Did that dope work out? What dope? Where's Dustin? Gone on a treasure hunt. Why'd you let him go? Get your feet off that table. I'm a manager, not a day neighbor. Shut up. Right. Conflict with victory as the moon appears. He's done it. Hey, wait a minute. You're making a beat. My mistake was in hiring you. You're fired. What about my dope? Try and get it. Wednesday and Thursday, worry and anxiety. That's today and tomorrow. Sure you can depend on it? He was a little screwy this morning. Friday, conflict with victory as the moon appears. That's the night of the fight. He can't lose. Does he know that? Slap him out of that stupor. Get him out. That every dime we've got, Dustin never misses. It's a lifesaver. Right. Ninety-eight dollars even. Is it that much? We've been browsing around Hartford for the last two days. Here's a hundred. Keep the change. Well, what am I going to tell my wife? Tell her that Pluto's in the tenth house and your aspects aren't what they should be. Here's to tonight. Tomorrow we'll be riding the wave. Fifteen grand at ten to one. Yeah. And Simpson took most of it. We'll hang him like a leg of lamb. Hello, everybody. Dustin, my boy, come in. Where have you been? Hartford. Has Jerry been here? Haven't seen her. Mix us in a drink. He should be in on the celebration. Right. Sure. Celebration? What celebration? That horoscope for the Slayer is going to put us all on easy. Oh, I didn't write any horoscope for the Slayer. What? what? No, I don't. don't joke. I've got a week. There it is. Victory as the moon appears. Oh, that isn't his horoscope. Oh, oh it is. That's mine. Yours. Yours. Sure. I'm ruined. I'm a pop. Now, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I couldn't cast his horoscope. You didn't give me his birthday. I'll slug him and you jump in, Steve. Oh, now, wait a minute. call up that eight and get his birthday. He don't even know he was born. Here, look at the scrap room. Maybe there's something in there. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Here, here's his passport. It'll be in here. February 8th, 1902. February 8th. Uranus. Uranus. Uranus, eccentric in motion. Six, two, and even, plus four, minus. Oh. What about it? Disruptive vibration to Mars. He should avoid quarrels. What are you talking about? He, he can't possibly win. Why not? Well, his his nebula is out of order. Should I slug him? Ah, uh, what's the use? Hey, boss, pipe this picture. I've lost my pants, and he wants me to look at pictures. It's him. What? That's me. Have you been a fighter? Well, I, I've, I've had just a few preliminary bouts, just to get money for my lessons. We've got it. It's his horoscope, and he's been a fighter. So what? He's the Salvador Slayer. Who, me? You meet the champion. No, I couldn't. I, I haven't time to meet people. I've got to find Jerry. I'd better slug him. Yeah. Take him up to my place and lock him in the bathroom to fight. Can we get away with it? Nobody's seen the Slayer. It's our only chance. No, no, wait a minute. I've never won a fight in my life. You will tonight. You've never cast wrong. What time does that moon rise? Uh, 9.52. Perfect. Get that slug nut over here where nobody can get to him. But I don't want to fight. Do you want to get drowned in a bathtub? Well, no, not particularly. Then get moving. I won't budge. No power on earth can move me. Right, right. Hey, hey wait a minute. Wait a minute, two fellas. You, you can't do this to me. I'll take care of that. Thank you. Hello, Miss Grant. Glad to see you back again. Thank you. Any messages? Yes, ma'am. Is 
this the last message? I hope so. Put my bag in my room, please. Yes, ma'am. semi-final. You mind if we lay him out here? His room ain't got no window. Okay. Who's he? Knock out Gella. That's the third bout. It was the third bout. He'll snap out of it in a half hour if his neck ain't broke. Hey, boss, the, the semi-final's on. What? Is everybody going to get knocked out? That's what I'm worrying about. It's ten rounds, forty minutes. Stop stewing. Regan, semi-final over. Get your man out. All right, come on. But I can't go yet. It's out of the question. What's he talking about? Well, I, I've got to wait until something comes up. Get him out there, or he'll be disqualified. No stalling now. Come on, snap out of it. Snap out of it. Yeah, but what am I going to do till the moon rises? Pray. Remember, the Salvador Slayer, you speak with an accent. Yeah, but what kind of an accent? 
Salvadorian. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey wait a minute. Hey, lefty. Look, how do you talk Salvadorian? It'll come to you. Come on. Yeah. I won't budge till the moon rises. Right, Steve? Right. Hey, hey, wait a minute, you fellow. Wait, I don't want to go out there. Four knockout bouts in a row. What more can happen at the seats of your thrill? Punches up. Come out fighting. You understand? Okay. Oh, uh, I don't speak of the English. Rompon limpio. Vagancy alto. Pelin, pelin. Seven. Oh, uh, si, senor, si. Uh, like this. No. Uh, like this. Si. I like this. No, no. No, now no. go to your corners and wait for the bell. Just a minute. Just a few words on the air. Request to Mrs. Costas. Okay, but make it snappy. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the middleweight champion of the world. Hello, folks. I'm in here to do my best. Have a steak ready for him, Mom. It wouldn't be long. About 18 seconds. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Salvador Slayer. It's yours. Take it away. Gracias. Gracias. Uh, no, no. No, no, no. Say something. Oh, speech. Oh. Si, si, senor, si. Uh, senores, uh, senoritas, a la pagoda, fermenta, arroya, a la cienega, uh, la banza. Oh, no, 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 English, English. Oh. I wish to tell you how unhappy I am to be here tonight. Oh, this is a nice country. 
I like your country, but my heart, my heart, she is in a Salvador. How many of you, how many of you have been in a Salvador? How many? Stand up, please. Unos, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, we haven't got all night. I am asked to make the speech. I make the speech. Salvador, she is a beautiful country. And the moon, the moon, she come over the mountain early. Not a nine of fifty like in your country. Get that thing out of here. Salvador, she is a land of play. People do not grab things in a Salvador. Let go of that. We are a friendly people. But so busy. Last year, our export on a coffee alone was eight a billion, a seven and a one and a half a peso. Our peso, she is like your dollar. Brown, just like the moon. Let us all go out and get a cup of El Salvadore and coffee. So, I remember one time last. The people of Salvador should come out oh, the